tragedy and, and moving from tragedy into triumph. And, and before I pass this off here, you know, I know what tragedy is. And tragedy, it can come by way of a telephone call. Um, when your life is perfect and everything is going great, tragedy is something that comes out of left field, something that you were not expecting and it comes into your life so fast and it turns your whole world upside down. So we're going to talk about that for a few minutes and where do you go when that happens? You know, there are three kinds of people in this world. Those who have been through a tragedy such as I went through in 2008, hope and pray to God I don't ever have to go through anything like that again. Uh, people who are right in the middle of a tragedy right now as we're sitting here, there are people suffering tragedy right now, this very second. And, and if you're not in one of those two categories, you're going to be in the third category and that's going to be the one that's coming down the road headed right toward you, a head-on collision. So we're going to talk a little bit about tragedy and, and how do you deal with it when something comes on you so fast and you can't even think anymore. You can't even oh, yeah, think straight. Nice. You're living in a fog. Nothing makes sense yeah. when people talk to you. You can't even comprehend oh, what they're yeah. saying to you. Yeah, and that don't go on for 30 minutes. Right. It goes on for day Days. after day Absolutely. after day. But Jackie, yeah. you got to come out of isolation, as I said before. I think that is the first step. You've got yeah. to come out of isolation yeah. and whatever it is that you're going through, realize that you need to connect mm -hmm. with people who can give you godly counsel, yeah. who can encourage you and Surround give you the empathy yourself. that you need mm -hmm. to be restored. Absolutely. Surround yourself, I think, with help and, and you can find that in the church. Absolutely. You think you can. But yeah. if I haven't been there, let me tell you something. So friends. Sometimes it right. can be a, a mean Respectively. Place. Yeah. Yeah. When I went through what I went through, yeah. I could not turn to my church. Yeah. And that, that and was a, a time a shame, that I had really. to, but you know what? I look at that yeah. as one of the best times in my life now. Yeah. I didn't then yeah. because to me that was another tragedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Tragedy God was tragedy. moving me yeah. from a place that I was just very normal, comfortable, mm -hmm. yeah. into a place, another church that I had been in now since the tragedy, mm -hmm. since 2008, where I have grown and grown mm -hmm. and exactly. grown. Yeah. Tragedy brings us from inspiration to transformation. It really it does. does. God yeah. uses yeah. our yeah. tragedies. Yeah. He does. And He has transformed you, Jackie, as you've moved forward yes, in all of this. And now you can speak into the lives of others who've, got, who've been there and who've walked there. And that's what God calls us he, to do. He takes our mess and turns it into a message. Yeah, right. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Every time. That's Every right. Time. Yeah. And had I stayed mm -hmm. where I was at, yeah. number one, I don't think I would have survived the tragedy. Yeah. It was that bad. It, yeah. You think, you mm -hmm. think that your Christian counterparts are going to be right there and not lift always. you up, but and they're not, not always, always there, That's you true. know? Yeah. And sometimes God gets us to that place in the middle of that tragedy, and He's the only one. That's there's where you got to get to right there, I girlfriend. That's where you got to get to. I love the Lord with all my heart, but there's been times when something happened. The first thing I did was go to call my husband or call a girlfriend, yeah. and I've gone to the phone instead of the throne, and it, and, and sometimes I've tried to call person after person and God let none of them be at home You're or right. answer until he says, will you come to me, Dawn? Exactly. Will you come to me? And well, so yeah. it, it, it took me getting that it alone takes getting place to the end with of your God, own self, alone too. place with God where he uh -huh. says, I'm the only one that can heal you. That's right. Sweetheart, and he is. I'm the only one. Dawn, you can't stop there. No, I mean, you can't stop. You can't stop there. You still have to go out because God can take care of your problems and he will work with you, but he works oftentimes through other people. Right. You know, so you it do is. need to figure out what is it about this tragedy that I have? Is it something that I'm going to have to deal with that I need to go get professional help? Because there is a time and a place Absolutely. for psychological counseling, yeah. you know, but a good Christian psychological. Yeah. You know, it, it wasn't expected. Mm -hmm. And then you have to deal with your emotions and you right. deal with yourself and you, you know, question God, you mm -hmm. know, and you have to come to that place mm -hmm. to be able to go to that source and, and be able to get that, you know, connection that you need to move forward. Right. But mm -hmm. people have to move beyond themselves once that impact initially takes once place. Once that impact hits, you do one of two things. You either blame God for letting that happen mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you either trust That's him true. to get you through I it. That. Yeah. I was doing both. Yeah, I, I was blaming that. man and begging. Right. I was blaming mm -hmm. and begging. Yeah. Uh, why did this happen? Please help us. Yeah. You I'm, know, I'm you can get to a place you're doing both. Yeah. You're literally doing both. But you know what? I can look back over the tragedies of my mm -hmm. life, and I'm sure you you all feel the same way. And although you hate it that you went through it, you wouldn't take anything for you're it. Right. Because we wouldn't be sitting here today. We would not be sitting here today without the brokenness. You know, and really, that's all 
all we bring to the table is what yeah. God has brought us through. That's exactly you know, right. So yeah. We can be thankful in that for so sure. So encourage everybody to do so. You yeah. know, bring it out and be perspective of where and when to bring it out and how much to bring out, yeah. but definitely uh, be transparent, as you guys said before. There were other things that helped me through difficult times, and I know we've talked about different things like music and so forth, but I think Christian music has been an inspiration to me. Sure it has. If I was stressed I out, having myself. a hard time, I yeah. did. And so it takes more than your quiet time, mm -hmm. you know, talking with your girlfriends, being surrounded by that go into the counseling that you need. So there's multiple layers of things yeah. that God provides to Absolutely. help us get through these times. The, 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 uh, the largest thing that he provides is his holy word. And let me tell Absolutely. you something. When I took that into yes. my prayer closet and I got away from the girlfriends, right. yeah. oh God, the girlfriends are taking me down. <laughs> when I got into the prayer closet, after I got out of the hospital, where I was literally dying mm. on a hospital bed, and God spoke and said, you are searching the wrong books and you're going to the wrong people, and I got in his word, yeah. and I let him put me in his intensive care unit, yeah. Psalm 91 mm -hmm. and the Hospital of Psalms. Mm -hmm. That's when things change. Jackie, that's true. That is the first place we have to go. So I definitely do agree with you there. I you're, definitely you're, you're do. You're, I do. Okay. Okay. I'm with you there. Listen, I'm not going to give you that. It's not a right or wrong answer. Right. But there's, a, there. there's a place. Mm -hmm. There's a place for uh, an intimacy time with God where he's going to grow you through this that yeah. your girlfriends can't. But then there's that time like like Moses when Aaron and her okay. lifted oh, this God. hands up so they could. can't provide yeah. the miracle down. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm right. sorry. They can. I mean, yeah. they can encourage you yeah. if you've got the right ones. They can if you've got the right ones. And I think that was one thing you said. You've got the right ones now. Right now. I didn't have you in jail. Yeah. Uh, no. I didn't have you no. there. But yeah. you know what? It, I had God then, yeah. and He worked everything right. out just fine without yeah. your girlfriends. Yeah. So that's see, right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. He is able. That's for Sometimes sure. Sometimes there's so much drama and, in this world, yeah. and you can pour your heart out, and yeah. all that girlfriend's going to do is put it out there yeah. to her other girlfriends, Possibly. and they're going. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a possibility, Sometimes. but it's not always going to happen, sad. Jackie. So you've got <laughs> to find the right ones, and that's yeah. where you qualify. You find. What yeah. are considered to be safe people? Safe yeah. people, and you've got to have That's them. That's the new term. So you got to find safe people, and not just one. Because yeah. you, you don't want to bombard. Out if you're safe. Yeah. You do. Yeah. You, you yeah. call them in for an interview. No, and I Jackie, you're safe. Jackie, absolutely, you do. <laughs> yeah. You have lunch with them because I did this. You have lunch with them. You get to know them, and you begin yeah. to unfold your story just a little bit and see how it goes. And if they're able to handle it, some of my girlfriends okay. couldn't. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think some true. people just want to know that someone else has gone through it too. Yeah. And there yeah. we go. There we go. I hope you all were enjoying this because we're going to be right back with more hot topics. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please check us out, Facebook, Twitter. Let us know what you think on uh, moving from tragedy to triumph. We'd love to hear. Thanks.